They believe you can fly. And by they, I mean the new Chinese automaker Xpong Motors. And by new, I mean the one that sold over 400,000 electric cars already with six models on the market right now. Now, normally when I see something out of a sci-fi movie on a showroom floor of an automotive show, well, I walk right by because we all know these are just eye candies that will never be made to fly, drive, or even crawl. But Xpong says that one of their two flying car prototypes, or VTOLs as they're called, is going in production next year, and the other one to follow. As a matter of fact, both models have working prototypes that have been going through actual flying tests for a while now. So when I flew all the way from Thailand, where I now live, back to the US on a much bigger and way less cool looking flying car to attend yet another CES in Las Vegas, I had to stop by and see it for myself. Now I will tell you more about this one in a minute, but it's the other one that should be getting all of the attention. By the way, VTOL stands for Vertical Takeoff and Landing because because it goes up and down vertically. No need to install a runway in your backyard. If you've been watching my channel for a while, you probably remember me playing around with an early prototype at one of their European showrooms in Oslo, Norway. Now, I thought it was really cool, but I didn't think it was actually going in production. But recently, Xpong unveiled the land aircraft carrier, as it's called, that actually consists of two vehicles, the six-wheeled ground vehicle and a flying module, the latest version of the one that I saw in Norway. And Xpong is planning to sell it in China for around just $140,000. The other prototype that I saw at this year's CES was this beauty, where it is a car and a drone, for the lack of a better word, in one. It literally can spread its wings like a beetle when it's ready to fly. Now you're probably thinking, wait, wait, wait. Uh, we are still not very good at, uh, you know, driving on the ground. Uh, how are they going to let us fly? through the air. But as I talked to Xpong Motors President Brian Gu and the Vice President of Aero HT, the Xpong's brand dedicated to Aerotech, Wang Tan, I have learned that essentially Xpong is not just paving the way for their own flying vehicles, but for the entire new industry. Xpong is working with Chinese regulators to come up with a framework of how this is going to work. Something that other countries should be looking into as well. There will be tons of challenges to solve, from aerospace approval and geofencing, to licensing those who will manually fly, and of course, legal responsibilities. Now, if I had to guess, a pilot's license probably would be required, but the whole industry will move towards the autonomous flying as soon as it can, and the altitude, speed, and routes will be limited and monitored. If you think about it, the autonomous flying may just be much easier to solve than autonomous driving, since there will be no kids running after soccer balls into the street, motorbikes or bicyclists, construction zones or falling trees. You'll just have to deal with an occasional duck or a pigeon. Now that I live in Bangkok, a city where heavy traffic is part of our daily lives, this is something that everyone in big cities can root for. Where would you take your very first flying car if it landed on your driveway today? Uh, let me know in the comment section. I'm looking forward to all of them. Other than that, see you guys next time and remember to stay charged.